In this video, we're going to do an overview of the Fractal Machine add-on for Blender. And as you can see, you can add a bunch of different types of fractals. I have covered fractals before on my channel, especially the mantle bulb type, but I've never come across an add-on with such a large variety of different fractals. So uh, it's quite simple to use. You just drag and drop the different fractals into the viewport and then you can change the parameters of the fractals until you have a result that you like. You can also increase the resolution, which makes it more detailed, as you can see here. You can, of course, add materials to the fractals as well. To properly add the material to the fractal, you, of course, need to add the set material node into the geometry node setup. And then you have the material. And you might ask yourself why anyone would need these uh, three-dimensional equation-based objects. And I would say that it's mostly just to create abstract art and for educational purposes. What I also like with these equation-based objects is that you can very easily animate the parameters by pressing I to keyframe on the parameters and then get some cool animated abstract art. Now, this is a paid add-on but there are some free alternatives. You can, for example, download the Mandelbulb add-on, which enables you to uh, create Mandelbulb fractals. I have a tutorial on that on my channel. You can also create these from the ground up yourself, but uh, that is very time intensive. And you also have to have a good understanding of both nodes in Blender, as well as the relevant mathematics of fractals. And that's it for this overview, subscribe for more Blender content.